It's so good. Ba, ito yung tipong perfume na maaamoy mo doon sa mga babaeng naglalakad sa mamahaling mo. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Ayin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are taking a break from our usual makeup tutorials because today I'll be sharing with you my perfume collection. So I've accumulated some perfumes over the years and yung iba dito medyo matagal na talaga to the level na hindi ko na sila ginagamit but I keep them for collection purposes while the others are fairly new I got last year lang things like that so before we begin with this video if you haven't already I would appreciate if you guys will hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll get notified whenever I post new videos and so that you'll be part of our click here so if you guys want to know the perfumes that I have the perfumes that I absolutely love then keep watching Okay, so for every perfume, I'm gonna leave the notes here so you can read it and para rin may idea kayo on how they smell if you haven't smelt them yet. But I will try my best to really describe the scents or kung anong age group ba yung tingin ko babagay yung perfume na to or kung what kind of woman siya babagay. Mm, I will try. I will try my best to describe each perfume, okay? So I want to start off with the oldest perfume in my collection and it is the Lacoste Joy of Pink. So as you can see, gamit ko naman siya. Medyo may natira lang ng mga mm, one-thirds maybe. I got this if I'm not mistaken, in 2011, this was a gift to me by my sister. I would like to consider this as one of the first high-end perfumes that I've tried. Actually, hindi pa naman siya mabaho or hindi pa nag-iba yung amoy niya. This brings back so many memories kasi matagal na talaga to and matagal ko tong ginamit din. Kasi nga malaki yung bottle niya. So, sulit na sulit siya. I, I don't know how much this costs. I'll try to research kung magkano siya. Pero for me... Sulit siya kasi super laki niya and this is a very girly, fresh scent. So, kung gusto mo ng sweet scent, I would recommend this one. Now, if you're not really into sweet scents or medyo nagkaka-headache ka, baka this is too sweet for you. But for me, kasi medyo sensitive din ako sa perfumes. May mga perfumes na too sweet for me na nagkaka-headache ako. But this one, hindi naman niya ako binigyan ng headaches. And... Um, the thing about this perfume is that when you wear it, people will really smell you. I used to get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this. Yeah, again, this is the Lacoste Joy of Pink. The next perfume that I'll be showing you guys is probably my signature scent. Because this perfume I've worn for years. And I mean, years. Ito talaga yung perfume na I couldn't get enough of. Like, even up to now, pag inaamoy ko siya, talagang... Yun eh. Ito talaga yun eh. Alam mo yun? And it's the Bulgari Crystalline. Bulgari Omnia Crystalline. I think that's the complete name. This is actually my second bottle. But I don't use this anymore kasi feeling ko expired na to. Although this still smells good. Don't get me wrong. Kaso nakadisplay na lang siya ngayon dun sa isang shelf ko. I really love this scent. If you want to smell fresh but sophisticated at the same time, then this scent is for you. This is not a floral or a sweet scent at all. Well, at least in my opinion. For me, this is the perfect scent. And ito talaga yung signature scent ko. Like, people usually tell me na pag naamoy nila sa ibang tao, naaalala nila ako. Kasi sobrang tagal ko tong ginamit. Ito, I can wear this day or night, summer or colder days. You know, wala siyang pinipiling season. Kasi it doesn't have a very strong scent, but it's not also too light. Na parang cologne or body spray lang siya. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely one of my favorite scents and I will definitely repurchase this. Okay, so the next perfume that I'll be showing you guys is the first ever Jo Malone perfume that I've bought. And it's the Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. This is the bigger size and when I bought this in 2014, hindi pa masyadong kilala yung Jo Malone dito sa Philippines and wala pa silang store. So, I had to buy this from a reseller online. And I did a lot of research before buying this perfume. Kasi nga, this is quite pricey. But I'm glad that I liked it. This is a good everyday perfume. Although the price is parang hindi siya pwedeng pang everyday. Pero for me, yung scent niya, it's a good everyday perfume. Let's say I'm just going to the grocery or yung tipong gusto ko lang ma-freshen up ako. 
this is what I wear. Kasi yung scent niya, it's very fruity. So, yun siya. Fruity scent siya talaga. If you're into fruity scents and gusto nyo itry ang Jo Malone, this is an OG. This is a cult fave. So, kung ako sa inyo, try this first. The only thing though about this perfume is that this doesn't last long as compared to my other perfumes. So, yun nga. Kaya, for me, okay lang siya na parang for everyday lang or yung kung lalabas ka lang saglit sa bahay, ganyan. And because I wasn't disappointed with my first Jo Malone purchase, I purchased two more. Pero ito na yung smaller size. So, unahin ko na ito. This is the Peony and Blush Suede Perfume. As you can see, nag- Ye-yellow na siya kasi matagal na siya. 2015 ko to nabili, I think. Bihira ko na lang to gamitin. Although, yung scent niya, it's still the same. And this one is very, very floral. So, kung hindi ka mahilig sa mga floral scents, meaning amoy bulaklak, yeah, amoy bulaklak talaga siya. Kung hindi ka mahilig sa mga ganon, baka hindi mo ito magustuhan. Pero, this is a very good perfume. Talagang tumatagal siya sa skin for a long time. But not as long as the other one, the one that I'll be showing you next. But yeah, itong scent na ako hindi ako mahilig sa mga floral scents sa totoo lang. But ito na gusto han ko talaga, mabango talaga siya. Now the only thing about this perfume, mababasa niyo rin to siguro sa mga reviews if you'll read or research about this perfume is that meron siyang binabagayan na body chemistry. So depende pa rin sa acidity levels mo or sa body chemistry mo, if babagay itong perfume na to. Kasi may mga tao na nagsasabi na, yes, mabango siya sa bottle, pero when they spray it sa skin nila, parang nagiging iba yung amoy, hindi masyadong maganda. So, depende. Depende pa rin siya. Since meron naman na tayong Jo Malone store dito sa Philippines, if you wanna try their perfumes, I'd suggest na you go there, test nyo muna sa skin nyo before kayo bumili because again, they are quite expensive. And the last Jo Malone perfume that I have is my favorite Jo Malone scent by far and it's the Blackberry and Bay. Ito kasi yung perfume na, this is quite musky. Pag unang smell mo sa kanya, parang isipin mo, it's too masculine. May, may ganung level siya. But, that's actually what I love about this perfume. Kasi nga, hindi siya masyadong, hindi siya floral, hindi siya fruity, hindi siya masyadong matamis. Parang may pagka woodsy yung smell niya. And yun nga, very masculine, musky. Bango. And, kaya ko siya gusto kasi I can wear this whenever I know that I'll be under the sun. And alam ko na hindi ako babaho. Kasi may mga perfumes na okay siya, spray mo, pero pag nainitan ka, napawisan ka, pag tumagal siya sa'yo, parang nag-iiba yung amoy, hindi na siya ganun kabango. This one, hindi siya ganun. This has never failed me. So I'll definitely repurchase this once it runs out. And ito, ginagamit ko pa ito madalas. Ito, tsaka si Nectarine Blossom. This two, I use this pa. Okay, so next perfume that I'll be showing you is, this one is for the more mature lady or woman or person. And it's the Paco Rabanne Lady Million perfume. So, ayan siya. It comes in this really fancy gold packaging. Ayan siya. And, itong scent nito, I think, not everyone will like this scent because like what I mentioned, I think this is perfect for like mature women. Na medyo on the verge na siya nung may pagka-grandma-ish na scent. That might throw you off. It really has an unacquired scent. I don't really wear this a lot. As you can see, madami pa siya. If I'm attending a special occasion, special event, ito. Ito talaga yung isa sa mga ginagrab ko kasi, well, it lasts on me and it smells good. Like, I know that I smell good whenever I wear this. Okay, the next perfume that I'll be talking about is one of my favorites also. Siguro nasa top 3 to. Yeah, I think. And this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Ito yung white one. Meron din itong black version. But I chose the white one kasi based on reviews, mas lighter to kasi doon sa black. And this also is a very sophisticated scent. Ito yung tipong perfume na maaamoy mo doon sa mga babaeng naglalakad sa mamahaling mo. <laughs> no, hindi kasi yung amoy niya, it's parang iba eh, iba. It's on the floral side, but it's also may pagka musky din yung kanyang scent, which is why I love it. I think I am really drawn to 
scents that are more woodsy or musky, mga may pagka masculine, ganon. But still smells clean, you know what I'm saying? I love this perfume. Ito, bihira ko itong gamitin kasi this is quite expensive and medyo mahirap siyang bilhin. Wala, I'm not sure kung meron ito dito sa Philippines pero kahit dun sa mga kilala kong online sellers, bihira silang mag-feature nito. So, I'm scared na mauubos ko na siya kasi this is really one of my top favorite perfumes. And if you're gonna ask me kung kailan ko ito sinusuot, usually I wear this whenever there are special occasions kasi yung perfume, okay siya na pag naamoy mo ulit, parang it brings you back to special days or yung mga special memories. Like ito. Ito yung ginamit ko nung first birthday ni Ark. So, pag ginamoy ko siya ngayon, yun yung naaalala ko. Okay, so the next perfume that I'll be talking about is the only perfume that I, well, aside from the Bulgari Omnia, this is the perfume that I've worn when I was pregnant in 2017 and it's the Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. Ito ang laki ng bote nito and ang dami niyang laman and yun nga, nung pregnant ako, ito lang halos yung sinuot ko. For me, this is a summer scent kasi it's very light. Unlike some other perfumes na parang pag inamoy mo, you feel like you can only wear it at night, ba? Ito... For me, this one naman, you can own, it, this is perfect for a day lang or as a day perfume in a summer perfume. But it doesn't last long, yun lang. But yeah, and sa dami naman niya, you can spray this over and over again throughout the day. Yeah, super light, super fresh freshan lang ang peg. Yan. Kung gusto niyo ng fresh freshan na peg lang ng perfume, if you're a student pala, yun, this is perfect. Pwedeng pwedeng itong gamitin. Okay, so now we are down to the last, well, last four. I'm gonna talk about this first. This is actually a set of mini perfumes that my sister gave me two Christmases ago. This is the Lancome, yung mga Lancome perfumes. So, meron dyang si Lave, Espel, Miracle, Tres, di ko alam basahin. <laughs> Pero yan siya. Puro minis lang siya. Yeah, I haven't used this yet. Yung isa, wala na. Kasi I gave this away during the Christmas vlogs. I think this will be useful kung halimbawa gusto mo lang maglagay ng perfume in your bag. But ayaw mo magdala ng malaking bottle. So, yun. And then another mini perfume that I have is the Hermes. Hindi ko alam basahin. Un Jardin. Lalagay ko na lang dito yung pangalan. Hindi ko alam siya basahin. Pero... And this smells so good, as in. Huh, ang bango, sobra. And ang pagkakaalam ko, this is one of Heart Evangelista's favorite perfumes. And I absolutely know why. This smells so good. Very, very, very classy. Very sophisticated yung scent niya. It's also for the more grown-up woman. So, if you're working, pero parang nakakapanghinayang gumamit ng Hermes pag nag sa office, ano? Pero, yeah. This is for the grown-up women. Alright, so the last two perfumes are the perfumes that I got last year which I absolutely 100% love. And itong dalawang to, these are probably the most long-wearing perfumes that I have in my collection. As in, itong dalawang to, tie to. Kapag nag-spray ako sa hair ko, let's say, umalis ako, aalis ako today, nag-spray ako sa hair ko, kinabukasan, naamoy na amoy ko pa rin. Like, as in, pag gumanyan lang yung buhok ko sa ilong ko, amoy na amoy ko siya. Ganon siya ka-long-wearing and ganon kaganda yung sealage niya. So, this is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. And this smells so beautiful. This is very classy as well. Nakapag, alam mo yun, pag inamoy mo siya, you'll get a picture of a woman who is dressed to the nines. Bango, bango sobra. And super tagal talaga nito sa skin and sa clothes. If you're gonna invest on a perfume na gusto mong magtatagal, I would suggest, highly recommend the Coco Mademoiselle. Yes, mahal siya, but it lasts a long, long, long time. So, hindi mo kailangan mag-reapply. And, malaki yung bote niya. Maraming laman. This bottle will last for years. And that is really value for money. Kahit mahal siya, you'll get your money's worth and more. So, yeah. 
highly recommend. Plus the bottle. Can we talk about the bottle? Wala na. Tapos na usapan, di ba? And the last perfume that I'll be sharing with you guys, ito ang aking Sunday perfume. And I'm about to go out of the house and I'll be out of the house for a very, very long time. And I need a perfume that will last on me for days. And this is the Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo perfume. So ito lang yung regular Jimmy Choo. May, may iba't ibang variant on Jimmy Choo perfumes, but this one is yung Jimmy Choo lang <laughs> perfume. I can smell vanilla in this. It's more on the powdery side na scent. Pero hindi siya yung powdery scent na masakit sa ulo. Or maybe that's just me. And also I can picture a very sophisticated woman. Ilang beses ko na sinabi yung sophisticated, no? <laughs> yun talaga eh. Yun talaga siya eh. This is also for the more mature woman. If you're looking for a perfume that you can wear as an everyday perfume, maybe, or maybe something lang that you can wear on special occasions, like if meron kang atenda na meeting, events, ganyan, this perfume, I would highly recommend it. Plus, and dami rin yan laman. Since I got this, ev halos every week ko tong ginagamit. Sometimes more than once a week. But as you can see, ganun pa lang yung nababawas. Wala pa ako sa half, pero gamit na gamit ko na to. Kasi nga, you don't, I, I usually spray this sa wrist, dito, dito sa aking, hindi ko alam tawag dito. Basta yung opposite side na elbow, sa neck, and sa hair. So yun na. Yung four points na yun, yun lang yung sinasprayan ko nito. But the scent is really, really strong, but not really overpowering, headachey kind of scent. So, very sulit siya for the price also. And yeah, those are the perfumes that I have in my collection. I love perfumes. I'm not really a huge hoarder, as you can see. Kasi I want to stick with the perfumes that I know work for me. Yun! Sana nagustuhan nyo tong video na to guys. I know this would be long. And sana nagkaroon kayo ng idea about the notes, kung ano yung scent nila, kahit na hindi <laughs> ako marunong mag-describe ng scent. Pero, sana nagustuhan nyo pa rin tong video na to. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would highly, highly appreciate it. I don't have anything more to say. See you guys again in my next video. Bye!